Busters. Mm -hmm. And today we are here to bust the meme on Steve Harvey's mustache. I believe he puts makeup on his mustache, and we have some photographic evidence here we'll show you. I believe that you can see the outline of the makeup on his mustache. Explanation that his mustache is just that thick is less is the least likely. I would be shocked. It can't be. <laughs> it's more likely that he like found a leprechaun and plucked its ass hairs and surgically implanted it on his lip or something. Make me beautiful, Elo. I want to be like Stephen Harvey. <laughs> okay, guys. So, ah! I look like fucking Mario brother. <laughs> Colby person eyebrows, Steve go. Harvey mustache. Is this meme busted? This meme is busted, right? I think this meme is this busted. This meme is busted. You know, I feel bad for Steve. He seems like a really nice guy. It was an honest mistake. He tried to make up for it. You know, he deserves a slide in this case. Oh, no, no, wait, no he doesn't. He's a fucking asshole. This guy sucks, all right? If you feel bad for him, watch this next video and tell me what you think then. Does he have a relationship with God? You sitting up here talking to a dude and he tells you he's an atheist, you need to pack it up and go home. You know, <laughs> talking to a person don't believe in God, you finna, you finna, where, what's his moral barometer? Where is it at? It's nowhere. Ladies out there, if you're gonna date somebody, make sure he's religious, okay? Like Steve Harvey here. He's got a moral barometer. That's why he's been married three times and each one of his marriages ended when he cheated on them. He's got a moral barometer. If you don't believe in God, then where's your moral barometer? That's just me talking. I you can believe what you, you want to believe, yeah. but if, if you're an atheist, you're basing your goodness and morality on what? I mean, but what is an atheist? I don't, I don't really get into that. You know, when I've talked to people all the time. I'm an atheist. I just walk away. Very enlightened, dude. You know, I gotta say, it's, it's a little bit scary when I hear religious people saying that if you don't have God, you have no sense of right and wrong. The implication is that he, if he didn't have the Bible to tell him what was good or not, he'd just be out there raping people. They're really insulting themselves, right? Because it's like saying, if I didn't have God to tell me what's good, what to do, then I, I, w I wouldn't have care about anybody. This moral barometer is all over the place. But you plug Jesus right in and it's like, hey, cheat on my fourth wife today. Moral barometer. Thanks, Jesus. I don't, I don't know what to say to you. you know, well, an atheist is someone who doesn't quite believe in, that there is somebody out there, some God out there. Well, then to me, you're an idiot. That's dope, dude. You should be proud of your ignorance and unwillingness to listen to other people's opinions. That's really cool, man. You should be proud of that. You should write books. Actually, I've got a copy of his newest book entitled How to Inflate Your Self-Worth by Dismissing the Views of Other and Taking the Moral High Ground While Actively Cheating on Your Spouse. It's a really terrific read or otherwise known as My Moral Barometer. No, but seriously, he actually does write relationship books. I don't know who's writing it. Is it him or the mustache? Let me check my moral barometer today. Today it says to cheat on my fourth wife. Well, it was never my choice. The barometer says it right here. I'm just not, probably fine. not the right politically correct no, thing no, to no. say. But if you don't believe in God, I mean, really, you got to have an explanation for this. You just can't tell me this spun out of a gastrous ball. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, then we were evolved from monkeys. Why we still got monkeys? Why we still got monkeys? Checkmate atheists. Why we still got monkeys? It's too much open here. I just believe that. And if you don't believe that, then I don't like talking to you. I... It's no wonder evolution's such a mystery to the guy. He can't fucking read a card, let alone a book. Kind of explains a couple of things, don't you think? Talking about evolution shit. Something more unexplainable on your fucking upper lip, man. Like you said, <laughs> men cheat because women allow them to. Uh... Elaborate. I mean, you know, look, women ask that question all the time. You yeah. know, that's one of the biggest questions. You know, why do men cheat? But I mean, it's, it's really because there are so many women out there willing to cheat with them. Can we please get women in burkas, guys? This is Steve Harvey's vision of a perfect society where women are covered up because it tempts him and therefore it's their fault. I mean, this is like saying pedophilia wouldn't be a problem if all those eight year olds weren't so goddamn sexy, you know? If there's no temptation, it's not a problem. You're tempting me, so it's your fault, you sexy-ass eight-year-old. 